Hey guys, welcome back to Chilka Golf. If you haven't been here before, I'm Chris. I'm the host and uh, I'm your entertainment as well. Playing a Golf Channel Am Tour event yesterday at the Tribute, it was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I have to give credit to the people that organized the event, super well organized. In future, I would love to ask you if with that kind of heat, I mean, teeing off at 11 a.m. was just, it's too hot, it's way too hot. So what happened was we were playing behind a group and we were about four and a half hours into the round and we were, I just finished a birdie on the 15th hole and I felt a little bit uncomfortable on my second shot, but I struck my rescue wood well into the par five, put it into the bunker, walked over to hit my bunker shot and I felt myself, I just didn't have the energy I, I had previously. And so I hit a bunker shot, it was decent. I knocked it to about 20 feet but it was not ideal. But on a Lynx course, you take every bounce that you get. Drained the putt. And I went to be enthusiastic about draining the putt and I had no energy, nothing. And I looked at my arm and I wasn't sweating. And so that was my first sign. And um, I asked the guys who I was playing with, who were brilliant, by the way. Big thank you to those, uh, Bill and Tom, who I played with. I asked them if I could be excused to walk to the bathroom between the 15th and 16th tee. And as I reached the bathroom, my I went blurry, my hands started to shake, and I couldn't I couldn't move. I sat down. I just couldn't cool down. I had no sweat coming from my arms, for example. It was just I was just dry. I took the decision at that point to remove myself from the tournament because I couldn't I couldn't carry on. And it's not like I was having a bad round. Yes, I'd had a difficult front nine, but I was coming back and I would have been okay. I would have finished very, very comfortably in that heat. Uh, maybe I wouldn't have got the, I wouldn't have finished in the top five, for example, but that's fine. I just needed a performance after many, many weeks of not playing any competitive golf. But it's a lesson to you all. It's really, really, it's not about how much you drink. It's not about how you've eaten. It's about managing yourself, being careful under the sun. And um, I think the only way I could describe or the only blame I could put it on was that the group in front of us was so slow. Unbelievable. They'd lost two holes on the group ahead of us. We'd lost, we were already a hole ahead of the people behind us and they had no intention of letting us through. So it meant every tee we stood there for 10 minutes Every fairway, we stood in the middle of the fairway for 10 minutes and we were ready golf. We were ready to go and the two guys I played with were playing really well. There was just nowhere to escape. It's a, it's a fake Lynx golf course, no trees, so there was no shade. And so you were just in the heat all the time. And every time you sat on the buggy, the heat would just go through your base of your body up. You get beaten down by the sun from above. And it's just not, you, I just had no way to cool myself down. Still, I was prepared. I had eight bottles of water with me. I had two, I had drunk two Gatorade bottles. I had bananas. I had protein bars to make sure I manage my nourishment, but that doesn't stop sunstroke or heat stroke. I also used a device which helped a lot, which was the uh, coolness headwear. I will link it in the description below. Fantastic. I didn't burn my face. I didn't burn my neck, which I quite often do. I exerted a lot of energy, uh, I lost, I hit the dreaded S word uh, three times in the round. That put a lot of stress on me uh, mentally. I was working hard, I was mentally trying to convince myself that forget about it, it doesn't matter, you just got to keep playing. And so by the time I actually got to the 15th tee, I was actually, I wasn't drained, physically I was there. But almost the relaxation of being drained, I struck the ball beautifully. I will be trying to play very early morning or late evening to try and compromise from playing in the sun. But this Texas heat right now, this week has been obscene. Highs of 115, real feel. 
humidity was high in the 80%. So it's a lesson to us all. No matter how fit you are, be prepared. The other thing I want to do is I want to thank the, the staff at the Tribute. The girls at the bar were fantastic. They made sure that I had cold towels. They got me electrolytes to get my body. I want to thank uh, Steve Chilcott, the uh, organizer of the Golf Channel event for the Dallas area. He was fantastic. On a positive note, I hit the closest to the pin on what is the tribute mock-up of the postage stamp and um, knocked a wedge to three feet and six inches and I was able to pocket $160. So from a very difficult day for me, um, I was still able to take home $160. So I, want, so I want to thank you all for this short vlog. I'll be back soon with more content. I thank you for your patience. Keep coming back because I keep promising to bring stuff. I might not be consistent at the moment, but I am bringing content as and when I can. My Instagram, I'm trying to commit at least my Instagram. I'm trying to pour information into that, whether it's about myself, whether it's about the golfing world. And finally, it's Sunday here in Texas. Congratulations to Francesco Molinari for winning the Open. I wanted Tommy Fleetwood to win. Uh, I felt like his ball striking was going to bring him to the top, but I forgot Molinari. I mean, the guy is a was a metronome today. Uh, no bogeys, all pars and birdies. Playing with the great one, Tiger Woods, a lot of people would feel the pressure. It was great to see Tiger come back at the uh, on Sunday. He let himself down with two holes, but um, it was great to see him competing. To the idiot that screamed in his backswing. Come on, the golfing community. Let's stamp this crap out. As Brits, we complain about the American crowds doing this. But as our, in our tournament, the Open Championship, we allowed an idiot to do that. And whether it's Tiger Woods or the person who's in last place, no golfer, no professional athlete deserves that treatment. So let's stamp it out of our game. Let's stamp out the stupid comments after swings as well. It's not needed in the sport. This is a sport played by gentlemen and ladies. It's not a sport played by idiots. Let's get rid of it from the sport. Let's enjoy the sport that we all love. I mean, I'm not the most committed fan, I will admit, over the past few years. It's difficult to give up time. I'm, I would rather spend time with my family, my wife and my daughter, and with the son on the way. Um, I also want to be able to spend time with him, but there will be moments that I want to share Sundays of the Open. You know, I grew up with that, with my grandfather and my father watching the Open on BBC. And it's, it's a disgrace. It's not needed in our game. So let's band together as a community. Let's shame those people. They do not deserve to be witnessing such fantastic golf if that's how they're going to react. So less of my rant, rant over, I apologize. This is just, this is a off the cuff vlog. I appreciate everybody who keeps coming back. Thank you very much to the 33 subscribers. You mean everything to me and I will keep putting content out just for you. I don't mind if I don't grow any bigger. You guys have taken the time to look at my stuff. I'm humbled, I appreciate it, I bow to you guys. Thank you so much. I'm Chris. This is Chill Got Golf. Be back with you soon. Peace out. Have a great weekend. Great prosperous week to you all. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.